So guys, I am back with another Outriders World Slayer video and if you've just loaded up your game as of now, the 12th of July, you'll probably notice there is an update for your game. That is because there is a patch which we're going to go through all the patch notes right here for Outriders World Slayer. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so let's get straight into the patch notes, people. Outriders World Slayer has been updated. Our teams are continually to work hard on improving the Outriders World Slayer experience and we will share news of future update plans when we are able to. Okay, so please note for Stadia, the patch uh, is with the Google team for the final certification and will be published after their discretion. However, as the Tara Greta rewards rework has been implemented via the back end, we have been able to push these changes live for Stadia. Okay, so changes to the Tara Greta trials. A large number of players have been abusing an exploit which allows them to bypass all other content and infinitely farm the final arbiter in the trial of Tara Greta. Rather than punish players and reduce overall farming opportunities, we would like to realign your options to give you more choice, rather than less. We are adding an extra guaranteed Apocalypse and Legendary RNG drop in the following 12 areas, the Cliffside Path, the Dora Sanctuary and the Abortum. This guaranteed drop will correspond to the targeted loot option for the respective trove. Trolls will now also drop their intended targeted loot more often. We are reducing the final Arbiter's Apocalypse Legendary drop rate, but the choice of a Legendary reward that appears after defeating the final Arbiter remains unaffected. We are reducing the Helmet drop rate from the final Arbiter, so that he will now be more likely to drop gear that isn't a Helmet than before. Which is great news guys, when I'd finish this, the amount of Helmets I would have was annoying as heck. Explanation These changes will make the trove areas of the game more attractive while also helping ensure an overall run through of the trials becomes more rewarding than before. Compared to before, where the amount of Apocalypse Legendaries obtained from a full run through of the trial was a minimum of 6, in the new system a complete run through or rooms in the trial will net a player a guaranteed minimum of 9 Apocalypse Legendaries plus RNG chances for others, which is cool guys. The most efficient way of farming Legendaries should therefore shift to something much more fun and variable rather than players feeling like they need to repeat the same fight if they want to be as efficient as possible. Notes A code based solution to this exploit would take a very long time to develop, as the only viable way of closing it properly would be to rewrite the entire way save games are handled while in the trial of Taya Guitar. This is not feasible. The current exploit is only in place because we purposely designed the retry system within the trial to be player friendly. We did not want players who need to take a break from playing or those internet connection momentarily fails to be punished with lost retries or be sent back to the start of the trial. Which is cool guys. I actually appreciate the way PCF are actually handling this. I mean a little few other companies out there will just nerf things into the ground, change things in a way it affects players in a negative manner. So the way they're doing this is pretty cool. Okay, so changes to gear. Okay, so the torrential downpour gear for the Technomancer. Helmet, skill life leech attribute has been changed to status power. Upper armor, skill life leech attribute has been changed to status power. Lower armor, cooldown reduction attribute has been changed to status power. Groom Inventor, helmet, skill life leech attribute has been changed to status power. Upper armor, skill life changed to status power. Lower armor. Cooldown reduction has been changed to status power. Plague Sour. All pieces close range damage attribute has been changed to long range damage. Explanation. These changes to Technomancer armor sets will better allow these sets to synergize with the pack skill introduction introduced in Outriders World Slayer. Particularly the Depleted Core Node in the Technomancer's pack tree will benefit greatly from the change towards making these gear pieces better reliant on status power. Notes: These changes were intended to be a part of the Outriders World Slayer launch build. They are now being implemented as previously intended. They are not a reaction to any of the balance we have observed since the launch. A full balancing pass is intended for a later patch. 
Okay, so bug fixes. And we come to the end, guys. Fix that bug that could cause Erishkigo, does that even say that? I don't even know. To start fighting during her boss battle. Fix a couple of bugs that could cause the Arbiter to be instantly killed by their tribute Umbral Clone. If the player was using certain armor or mods in combination with Venator's knife and the shield be set. Fix that bug that could cause the game to crash while exiting. Uh, bug fixes to improve technical performance. And there we have it guys. So that, or well, there are the changes you will see with their latest update you would have had for your game which arrived today july 12th tell me your thoughts down below people and on that note the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more outriders be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one